This is March 14th at the Seal Rock's Nest. The bird is in full incubation now. I just got here, so I haven't had a chance to see the eggs yet. This is March 16th. I'm at the Lone Tree Peregrine Falcon Territory, conducting the first survey of the year for these birds. Uh, they're a bit more difficult to locate than bald eagles. They of course don't have a big white head and they like to nest on cliffs. So our general protocol is to spend up to four hours, uh, three times a season at a territory to try to determine if they are present or not. We have about 50 territories that we monitor across all eight of the California Channel Islands. Uh, we only have two known ones out here on Catalina. One of the problems we face this time of year is the fog. Unfortunately, almost all the eagle nests on Catalina are down below the fog layer. And this fog's been here all week, so it makes it very difficult to check on the nests. You have to keep an eye on the coast and try to get there at a time when the fog has receded. Hey, I've now been at the observation point for three hours and the fog finally cleared enough to see the, the eyrie. And I was able to confirm that there is a pair of peregrines here. Uh, one entered the eyrie and then exited, and the second one flew by the, the mouth of the eyrie. So that's good news. This is March 16th at Twin Rocks. I got a quick glimpse of the nest before the fog came back in and did not see a bird. So either they failed in the last week or they were just pretending to have eggs the last time I was there. I'll check this nest weekly through April. Hello, it's Friday, March 17th, and I'm out at the western end of Catalina Island. Wouldn't you know, it's foggy again. This is a view uh, looking north. You can see that it's not too bad right there. Of course, everywhere I need to go is on this side of the island. So we're pretty much socked in again. I'm going to be looking for the Silver Peak peregrines today. Um, fortunately, they tend to nest up here above the fog. So hopefully I'll be able to find them. This is the set of cliffs that the Silver Peak peregrines have nested on in the past. I thought I heard something when I was hiking over, but have yet to see or hear a confirmed peregrine. I'm now about two hours into the observations, still nothing, but the fog has burned off a bit. Give you a view of their territory. My GPS unit says I'm at about 330 meters, so the ocean it's about a thousand feet down from here. They've got a nice view along the coastline. If you've been out to the island, I believe Ribbon Rock is right around that point there. I moved over to the other side of the ridge to check out cliffs on this side. Um, I'm actually pretty close to the West End Nest, which is out under that fog out there. This is March 18th back at the Seal Rocks Nest. Birds are still incubating. It's still foggy. Hopefully they'll get up so I can see if there's more than one egg. The male arrived for a nest switch. Uh, it was too foggy to film, but there's still just one egg. 
These birds are from 1992 for the male and 1993 for the female. This is March 18th at the rattlesnake nest. I'm just making a quick check that they're still incubating. So you can see a, a head sticking up on the nest. This nest is actually at a camp on the island. Very nice location. Here's one of the rattlesnake birds that just flew down to the beach. Looks like it's playing around with some seaweed. This is March 20 at the Pinnacle Rock Nest. Have a nice, calm, overcast day, so much better images. I'll stick around for a while and see if they still have two eggs. Here's a view of two eggs. I think there's a switch coming up. The gulls are going crazy. This should be K88, the male. It's about a five to six hundred foot vertical climb out of Pinnacle Rock from our observation area. Back to the truck. It's a little more interesting this year with all the flowering plants compared to the last four or five years. We have the cactus. Finishing the climb brings us up to East Peak. And my field partner, who's smart enough not to want to walk down that hill. Say hi, Darwin. This is the view from East Peak. I hike down to that far ridge, that little point in the middle that lets me look down about 600 feet at the Pinnacle Rock Nest. And we're looking over towards the Palisades. 
There's a peregrine territory over on the cliffs over there. And the Pinnacle Rock birds have had nests all up and down this coast. I think there's at least half a dozen nests. This is March 22nd. I'm checking out the Two Harbors nest, which is over on a point in the middle of the screen there. I'm actually watching it from the Little Harbor area. It's the closest spot I've found so far to be able to see the nest without disturbing the birds. I won't be able to do video through the scope, it'll be too shaky, but I'll try to get a photo. This is March 22nd. I've still not seen either of the Empire birds yet this season. So I'm going to start expanding out probably the next week or two couple miles in each direction from their previous nest. Well, it only took a few minutes. I was walking out and I heard an eagle and I found both of the birds. Probably about 200 yards down the hill from where I was before. I don't know what they're doing there. These two birds took off flying and it turns out that the male is K08, who I've been looking for at the reservoir, but at Middle Ranch, but he's been gone for a few days. And the female, I'm not sure who it is, but it, she is carrying an old backpack transmitter. So I guess I'll have to keep an eye on these guys now. This is just a few hours after seeing 08 at the Empire Quarry area. He's now back at Thompson Reservoir in the Middle Ranch Territory. And apparently alone, so the mystery continues about what's going to happen at the Middle Ranch and Empire Territories this year. This is March 23rd, just checking out the Twin Rocks nest again. You can see the fog has cleared, we've had a weather change, but there are no birds at the nest, so I'm pretty sure they failed and hopefully they'll try again before the end of April. This is March 23rd on the north side of Catalina Island. I'm going to start searching for the Empire Birds. Their historic nest is on the far side of that ridge in the Empire Quarry. I'm going to start searching uh, along the coast and half a mile to a mile up the canyons to see if they've moved eastward towards Twin Rocks, which is mile or two over that ridge there. One of the nice things about these northern slopes is we tend to get the, the scrub oaks and other oaks growing here. So there's some nice little areas where you can get in under the trees, which is especially nice when it gets hotter outside. All right, I made it most of the way down to the coast. Um, just had a peregrine falcon fly by going west to east of the coastline here. I'm at least 10 miles from any known territory, so I'll have to start searching these cliffs along here a little bit more as well. I've made it down to the general coastline now. Uh, I saw no eagles or peregrines, but we do have some potential peregrine cliffs off to the east. I'm going to start working my way down and across the little ridges, perhaps find something down there. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me over the wind here, but I did find a peregrine right above those bluffs I previously pointed out. So I'm going to stick around and watch it for a little while, see if it has a mate. This 
is a view of the western portion of the Twin Rocks Bald Eagle Territory. The nest is located on the, just over the far ridge. So they work their way down this way sometimes. So I don't think the Empire Birds will be further east than this. This is looking back the other direction towards the Empire Territory. You can see the old quarry here and their nest was in a rubble pile area. sure there's two peregrines now. Uh, I heard birds below me and then this one flew over and is eating another bird. Now it's a little bit after 4 p.m. I've not seen both birds simultaneously, but I'm pretty sure there's two of them. Uh, I still have about an hour hike out and have to go feed our captive birds, so I'm going to have to call it a day here. I decided to look at one other spot before I headed out. This is actually through my binoculars, but there are both peregrines. So it looks like this is a new territory. Don't know what I'll call it yet. Here's a large chunk of the Bison, not Catalina. They all seem to be hanging out today. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the, the males. They sound like a lion.